Hey Taurus, welcome to your tarot session. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna dive right into your reading. As always, I'm gonna invite you to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Um, and I'm gonna start by picking the present moment energy as I always do. I felt like I felt like there's a lot from your past that is about to start making a lot more sense in the next few days, in the, in the next week or so after listening to this reading. It was like something comes up as a revelation of some sort, understanding something that was almost impossible to figure out. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Okay, it makes a lot of sense now. I don't know why I felt bad. There was something about the past. Here we have the Queen of Cups. Um, the deepest card in the tarot. There's something that I feel happened in your past. And it's kind of coming up to the surface right now. It could be connected to a decision that you made around a relationship. Around a situation that was clearly highly emotional. In the present moment, you are navigating the layers of something that happened in the past. It could be coming up in your dreams. It could be coming up kind of unexpectedly just through meditation or through conversation. And you can finally get those little puzzle pieces that are missing. It feels like there were information that was needed. And slowly but surely, you're getting more and more information. And that could be happening because someone around you is going through something or because you're seeing something being reflected. The answers you need are coming. Yeah, there's something about that. The answers you were looking for are coming. It feels like you throw some type of question in the universe. And... It's about to become a lot clearer for you what happened, what's happening with another person, what's happening with that situation right now in the present moment. Um, very intense energy. I'm feeling like there is another person's timeline intertwined with yours, but how you're disconnected from someone at this time. I'm seeing we, the Queen of Cups just kind of turning her back on this Ace of Swords. Okay, let's let's dive into this reading because there is so much coming up. It's very early right now where I am and I just woke up, no coffee. And my guides were like, you're starting right away with the Taurus reading. I was supposed to do Gemini and Pisces, but it's weird. I felt called to my tarot table for you like as soon as possible again no caffeine what and i had practically no sleep last night so what is this about what is this about the empress is here and that's interesting because the empress is the connection between earth and the sky really it's it's air and earth working together in some way. So this card is all about receiving. And again, I'm getting a sense that you are receiving clarification, confirmation about something that your intuition has been telling you for a while. There's this knowing that is ready to transform into wisdom. You're about to understand why someone went silent or why someone treated you a certain way, why it got so complicated. I've been feeling so much about your relationships recently, Taurus. Like in all readings, there are other timeline intertwined, other people, King of Wands, Seven of Wands, yeah, Nine of Wands here. You've been... Well, it seems like you've been deeply, deeply challenged by other people recently. Your patience has been tested a lot. And again, I feel like a lot is happening around you. Like people are going through some stuff and it, it, it's working as a mirror for you. 
Seven of Wands to me is a card of anger, always. Anger is such an important emotion. It has so much to teach us. It can work as a mirror also. And it's the only emotion that we have to release or else it will bleed in our relationship. It will eat us alive. I think we all know that. But again, when we start understanding that, that whatever we've been trying to push down, you know, Queen of Cups to me is a lot about the things that we keep secret, the things that we keep for ourselves. And the traditional version of this card uh, in the Rider Waite Tarot, it's the only closed cup that you see. It's the one that the Queen of Cups is holding. So to me, that there's something interesting there, how it's a call to open up. But there's something that you're going through right now, and it feels very lonely. I don't think that there's anyone who really understands what you're going through right now, how certain feelings are being processed. And I love seeing the King of Wands because you are clearly transforming a certain anger or a certain raw, uncomfortable feeling and energy into a manifestation. The King of Wands is probably the most, quote-unquote, magician-like energy in the tarot. He's double fire he is the light that never goes out. Whatever you believe can happen, whatever your heart wants, you have the potential to get. There's, there's some type of power here with manifestation. And if this isn't your first time here, if you're used to the Taurus reading uh, here on this channel, you know I'm not a fan of manifestation. It's just that's a personal thing about me. I'm not... Um, someone who's going to manifest something, I love to open myself to whatever the universe has in store for me. I love to be surprised by the universe. I feel like when I used to manifest, I would kind of settle for less. It's weird. I don't know why I would do that. But I feel like here, this is really about manifesting something. Having a clear idea of, okay, I want this thing to happen. I want to get this thing. I want to I want to talk to this person. I want to go through a reconciliation or I want this job. I want just to change or improve something about my life and myself and it's happening as we speak. That's the thing. I feel like your guides are saying the process already begun has already begun for you. Okay. What are you trying to manifest? What are you trying to manifest? Ten of Wands. Okay, you're trying to clear out something. Five of Cups is at the heart of this reading. King of Pentacles, Magician is here. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Again, there's this sense of, I just want this feeling to never find me again. I never want to feel that way again. I never want to be bothered by this energy again. I feel like the Ten of Wands here is about something that constantly kept happening in a relationship. You constantly going back to someone or someone... That could have been manifesting you because I felt called to share that I'm not a fan of manifestation and there's something here about that and I don't know I feel like I it came out of me for a reason that could be another person manifesting you because there's the king of pentacles here right under the king of wands that's kind of interesting to me so let's Let's look at the heart of this reading, which is the Five of Cups. We're talking about grief here. We're talking about tending to certain feelings. And tending to feelings doesn't mean you have to do something about them. That's the thing. I feel like there is something, Taurus, a weird energy that you're dealing with right now. It's very hard to explain. It's very hard to digest. And 
You don't have to do anything about it, but there's definitely pressure here. There's pressure to heal faster. There's pressure to take care of your mental health and your emotional health and come on, go speak to someone and, and change and improve. I feel like there is so much pressure for you to heal something, to address something. And you know what? I don't know if, I don't know if you want that right now. There's something that feels so tender, so personal. Again, it, it, there's a secret here. There's definitely a secret with the Queen of Cups. I kept avoiding the word secret, but it just wants to come through. There's no way I can move around what I'm feeling right now. There's a secret that you're keeping safe. And it's been kind of eating you alive. This is what's coming up. It, it, it's weird. It's like there's a lot of daydreaming and there's a lot of fantasizing. And there's also just, again, something that you want or someone that wants you. There's this push and pull. And with the King of Pentacles, there is this sense of you're ready. You're ready to talk about it. You're ready to use this energy to your advantage and be of service in a way because kings are always of service anytime you pick a king card you know you're going to be asked to do something to help someone to work for someone it could also be be of service in a way of channeling messages from spirit i'm of service right now to you all um but we are all in service in different ways here. And I feel like with the King of Pentacles, there could be something about either your family. I felt that earlier, like there was someone around you going through a lot. And that could be taking a lot of your energy at this time. And again, it's bringing up a lot from the past. It's bringing a lot of memories and and questions about your past and about how you were raised and why you are a certain way and why you are attracted to a certain type of people. Um, the answers that you're seeking are coming in, but I don't think you're going to find the answers in a very traditional way. Okay. Whew. Thank God I didn't drink coffee before this because I feel so activated right now. You should see my face. I, I look a little crazy for sure. <laughs> okay. I need to know more about this situation. I feel like something is unlocking. And I feel it's connected to a secret. I don't know why. Yeah, the judgment card is here. So something is being excavated from the past you are showing up as the Hierophant, obviously, and the Three of Wands is here. Okay. So, there is a new beginning on the horizon. The Three of Wands is the ultimate new beginning. It's connected to Aries. It's connected to a leap of faith, to infinite possibilities. I say this all the time, but the Three of Wands to me is much more of a leap of faith than the Fool card. It's just what the heart wants. It's this primal instinct. You cannot keep this thing secret. You cannot keep it for yourself. You feel like you need to act on it. You feel like you need to talk about it to someone or to, again, process the intensity of those feelings, maybe in a healthy way. With the judgment card in the Hierophant, this is divine timing. This is a divine intervention of some sort, Taurus. And I think that's why I'm feeling so activated right now in the present moment. It's because someone is, is literally going through some type of divine intervention. And I think it's going to be going on for, it's going to be happening for a while. I would say until the very end of August. It feels like there's some type of reset happening in the month of September. And this is coming up very strongly. So everything feels uncertain right now. This is how I'm getting this. 
you'd love to have a map. You'd love to have, you know, a list of things to follow and just do what you're supposed to do. But there's no map. There's no clear indication. There's no clear path. Because this divine intervention is helping you literally build a new path from the ground up. Just build something completely new. I really feel like your life is about to shift direction in very, very unexpected ways. The things that have been stable and solid and comfortable especially, they might start to feel heavy all of a sudden in the next few ways, in the next few weeks. You might start feeling this heaviness. I need to break free. I need to do something a little crazy. I need to get out of my comfort zone. I cannot do this anymore. I need to follow what my heart wants. I need to try. I need to take a chance on myself again to take a leap of faith. Let me let me use another tarot deck. I really want to know what is this leap of faith? What is it connected to? And why am I feeling like it's happening all of a sudden? Literally, it feels like you're going to wake up one morning and be like, I'm going somewhere. And I don't know where, but I'm leaving. Let's see. Let's see where this new path leads me. Let's see where the road leads me. There's something so free by the end of July. I feel so much freedom, a new sense of freedom. Okay, what is this leap of faith? Oh, the lover's card. It's interesting how there's always three people on the lover's card. Almost, you know, an older version. This is clearly like an older version of the lover's card. And there's a choice here. There's a choice. Am I, am I choosing myself? Am I taking this leap of faith and choosing myself? Or am I staying in a situation that is very comfortable, but isn't aligned with who I really am, with who I want to become? It feels like some of you are starting to realize that you've been sabotaging yourself not on purpose but you've been sabotaging something here again there, there there are very intense feelings that you're just pushing down pushing down constantly because you're just you're getting used to a certain stability to a certain comfort and that's okay it's lovely but when I think about the Empress, which is the first card that came through for you, which is a Taurus card, but it's also a Libra card. There's a lot of gauging here. We are grounded. We are comfortable, safe, and secure, but there's still the air energy of Libra. We have to move. We have to communicate differently. We have to honor our feelings, honor what the heart wants. And there's definitely something about communication. I don't know if you're communicating with someone online, if you're um, dreaming about someone or talking to someone. There's something about communication that just, it feels like it isn't enough. Yeah, four of pentacles. You want it all. Oh, and the devil card is here, of course. Okay. Yeah, there's something that you want. It's connected to pleasure. And there's shame around it. That's why the devil card is showing up with the four of pentacles. Your body is literally screaming at you. I want this. I need this. I crave this. And take this how it resonates for you. It's not going to be one message that fits for every Taurus 
the messages I bring today are really meant to be digested and, and transform into your story here. There's something about pleasure. It's connected to your body. It's connected to, again, something that for I don't know what reason, it brings up a lot of shame. And I think it's because you feel like you are ungrateful about what you have and that stability that you created. There's a part of you that's like, why am I not satisfied with the life that I've built? Why do I want more? Why do I need more? I have what I want. I feel like you are in a comfortable space right now, but it's not enough. And again, there's a lot of shame around this not enough. So the devil card, I've talked about this so many times, but has become one of my favorite card throughout the years because I understand now that it's about pleasure being our birthright. And that when the tarot was created, of course we're going to associate uh, pleasure and needs and... and senses and experiences with the devil you know just like the hierophant was representing a person in a position of authority because this is how you know certain systems and structure kind of kept us again like where they want us to be and I don't want to get into like any type of politics or anything, but I think you get what I'm saying. You know, certain systems benefit from us just feeling ashamed of wanting more, wanting pleasure, wanting more of something. And with the four of pentacles here, this is body wisdom. And I'm going to be very real with you. And I'm saying this from a place of love and really as a friend, as a, a bull, you know, a Taurus myself. You're not going to be able to let that go. And I don't know why I feel like there's so much like deep emotions coming up right now as I'm saying this someone needed to hear that but it's not necessarily what you wanted to hear it's not going to go away this craving that you have this need to connect with someone to do something specific to take this leap of faith it's not going to go away and it feels like your inner critique has been telling you, you know, just, just ignore it. Again, push it down. Ignore it. It's going to go away eventually. And then you're realizing, okay, it's been a while now. It's not going anywhere. I must really care about this person. I must really want this. Whatever it is for you. It could, I'm hearing unfinished business. It's coming up pretty strongly. But it could be about work. It could be something about family. It could be about a romantic situation. I don't know what it is, but clearly what I got, like a very clear message earlier was communication is not enough. It's not enough to just talk. I need to know why this feels so powerful. The queen of swords and the chariot, I need to know why. This has felt so deep. And that even if I focus on healing and growth and I'm busy with work and I'm doing this and that, I always have this wave coming up kind of unexpectedly. Again, it could be through your dreams or it could be just your mood constantly changing. The chariot card is connected to the moon. It's like it constantly changes, but it remains the same. The moon changes sign every two and a half day. But when you look in the sky, she's always going to be there. Even if you see just parts of her, even if, you know, she's hidden behind clouds sometimes or whatever. It's just, it's always there. It's not going away, Taurus. 
It's not going away. And for some reason, I believe that someone needed to hear that today. Your inner critique is trying to convince you. Your inner saboteur is trying to convince you that if you keep pushing through, this feeling is going to go away and it won't. It's part of you. And I feel like this could be connected to a past life situation, which is not something I talk a lot about on the channel. This is a very rare message that comes through about past lives. Four of Pentacles is here again. Okay, interesting. You've been fighting against something. You've been resisting something that actually feels so good. That actually would be such an essential part of your evolution, your growth. But you're holding on to comfort. You're holding on to something that can wait. That's the thing. There's an experience that you need to have, Taurus. It is calling you. It's getting louder and louder and louder. And because you've been ignoring it, now it's becoming a divine intervention. Your guides are like, listen, Taurus is going to have to take this leap of faith. We're going to make everything happen for Taurus. We're going to send them synchronicities. We're going to send them the most intense like body sensation, dreams, and all of that. And the Five of Cups is at the heart of this reading. You're grieving the loss of someone. You're grieving something that is about unfinished business. There's a part of you that can see the potential, that can see what could have happened if you have said yes to yourself in the past. Okay, let's pick some oracle cards. Oh yeah, there's a divine intervention. I keep getting that for you. What do you need to release? And I'm seeing the Ace of Swords as I, as I ask this question. What are the intrusive thoughts? Again, your inner saboteur, your inner critique has become louder and louder and louder. And I think that what you need to release, in my opinion, is old beliefs. You know, we have the Devil card, the Four of Cups that came up to time, which is connected to the Devil card because of its connection to Capricorn. So you need to let go of this comfortable seat that you created. It feels like I'm seeing the Hierophant now. And, and again, I, like I'm thinking about this comfortable seat and then this comfortable life that you created for yourself. But there's always the feeling of lack. It's not enough. That's why the Five of Cups is here. Why am I not satisfied with what I have? Because there's this thing here, again, connected to pleasure, connected to it's just louder than ever. And it comes in waves. That's the thing. It really comes in waves for you. That's how I, I felt it here. So sometimes you're like, yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm kind of moving on from that need. I kind of I'm letting go. I don't think about it as often. I don't feel as activated as I once was, but it's there and it's coming back, Taurus, and it's not going anywhere. There's a divine intervention about to happen. I feel again around the end of the month of July, that could be like a very clear uh, indication. The Capricorn blue moon. Yep, July 21st, you could be receiving a message and it clicks. This is it. This is my opportunity to just go and try this. So remember, Taurus, that everything I say today is an invitation. The tarot is not here to tell you what to do. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I really don't believe that if you don't take the sleep of fate, you're going to miss out on something. I don't believe that. I believe that the future isn't fixed and that the tarot is a mirror reflecting the present moment before anything.
that there's something there. That's what I know. I can see through the mirror of tarot that there is something secret hidden, hidden so deep, so deep within you, this desire that just wants to come through. And for some reason, your guides are working in the favor of that desire. I don't know what it is. And I wish I knew. I'm a very curious person. I wish I knew everything that's happening in all of your brains. I wish I could, I could have a little peek in that. But it's, it's really kind of none of my business here. Um, I hope that... This message makes you investigate your feelings a little more. If it's just to address certain things, again, let whatever has been hidden come up to the surface and talking about it, expressing it, creating something out of this, that could also be a huge leap of faith for you. So I'm sending love. Thank you for being here, Taurus. Take care. Have a lovely weekend if you're listening to this rating on Friday or Saturday. And uh, I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.